What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today we're going to be doing my preview of the big Premier League game between Fulham and Manchester City this weekend. It's a chance for City to go top of the Premier League. Must win game four us away in West London to Craven Cottage for Fulham taking on Manchester City on Sunday the 30th of April 2023 with a 2pm BST kickoff time. Anyone heading down to the Big Smoke do have a great time. If not, the game is being broadcast live in the UK on Sky Sports. I'm also going to be doing a live watch along. The link will be out to that later on this evening for you to uh, go and set your reminders for to come and join me for that on Sunday. So before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content do subscribe to my channel. Social media links there in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries. TikTok link in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. Do leave a thumbs up 100 likes is the aim do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below including your score and team prediction for this game finally this video is sponsored and brought to you by betmates a 400 pound pot premier league sunday 2 p.m special you can join uh, join using the code ff dash sun dash 2 p.m dash 30 0 4 five pound entry fee you can join for free by downloading the free betmate app link is in the description and use code jsgc10 on sign up for £10 in three bets and then free bets you can use to join this pot for free 120 quid for the winner paying up to the top 20 places as well pot is made up of four games you've got Bournemouth taking on Leeds Fulham taking on Manchester City, Manchester United taking on Aston Villa and Newcastle United taking on Southampton. And you can select two players from each team. We'll speak more about Betmate though later in the video. So for Manchester City, two points behind Arsenal, two games in hand. Arsenal aren't playing until uh, Tuesday evening taking on Chelsea in a big London derby. Chelsea could potentially have a new manager in place by then as well. Uh, and so Arsenal, if we can get them under maximum pressure... I can see them continuing their bad form after going uh, the winning their uh, not losing for the last ten Premier League games, winning the last seven in a row. All of a sudden, not won in the last four, lost the last game against Manchester City and struggling. And City need to make sure that pressure gets put back onto Arsenal with them not playing this weekend and playing on Tuesday. And we know we play on Wednesday with our game in hand as well. Win our next couple of games and all of a sudden Manchester City looking in a very healthy position in the Premier League. So we've picked up the big win against Arsenal so we need to make sure we do what we didn't do last time which is pick up the win in the following game. Drew against Nottingham Forest last time would be Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium. This time we need to make sure away game against Fulham that we are picking up that win. Fulham 10 safe they're not getting in Europe they're not getting relegated are they on the beach already I wonder do, uh, or do they want to go and spoil the Manchester City party that is the question now Fulham they had won their uh, previous last two games against Everton and Leeds however in their last game they did lose uh, away to Aston Villa 1-0 on Tuesday evening they have had an extra day's rest on us uh, but have been very much hit and miss. They're sitting right in that uh, top half mid-table pack that's got nothing to play for. Uh, and as I said, they've shown more consistency than the teams below them, but not quite as much consistency to be fighting for a European place. So, as I said, the thing here for them to think about is... They want to beat Man City. They want to prove a point. They want to be able to raise their game. And that, that's what's going to happen here. It will be an easy game, I'm sure, for Manchester City. And City need to turn up, do their thing, and move on to the next game. Take it game by game by game. And that, to me, is the best way that City have to win this Premier League. Now, Fulham, led by manager Marco Silva, doing a great job with them. Uh, in terms of dangers in their team, they've got a lot of pace up top. The likes of Bobby Reid, uh, Dan James, Harry Wilson. City play a very high line to so these types of players could all be started in this game with balls over the top and working the ball to the attackers could be a very a difficult afternoon for Manchester City in terms of the defending but City did a cracking job um, in midweek against Arsenal they've got quick wingers in the likes of Martinelli and Bakaya Saka and they didn't have a sniff in that game and uh, if City can play the same uh, kind of team the same kind of formation and same kind of intensity I'm confident we can not only nullify Fulham but we can create opportunities and City as long as clinical in front of goal could go on to win this game now City we need to be clinical grab that all important first goal if we can get that early then that will help to settle us down we have the momentum seven Premier League uh, games 
uh, with one in a row. We need to keep that going and we need to be taking things a game at a time. Now, elsewhere, looking at Fulham's team, uh, I'm expecting Leno to be starting in goal, Tete starting at right back and Anthony Robinson starting at left back and a good chance here for City to scout a left back that we have showed some interest in over the last 18 months. We've got former City man Toshi Nadara Bayo starting alongside Tim Ream. Uh, Paulinho is going to be starting alongside Harrison Reed. I suspect with Andreas Pierre starting uh, further ahead of them. I reckon it's going to be uh, Bobby Reed and Harry Wilson starting out wide with Dan James going through the middle uh, as Mitrovic is suspended for this game. Now for Manchester City, team news, no Nathan Ake is in a race to be fit uh, for the Real Madrid games by the sounds of it. Uh, I'm wondering if it could be a back four and Man City starting with Walker on the right-hand side and uh, maybe one of a Kanji or Laporte going on the left-hand side with Stones and Diaz slotting in at centre-back or we may revert back to the uh, inverted wing-backs and playing with a back three. Uh, we'll have to wait and see but Pep experimented kind of a little bit of a new formation against Arsenal. It works very well and uh, with uh, Fulham having some quick attackers as well could be uh, a good way to go down going with a back four uh, rather than a back three for Manchester City. Now City, we do know that we've got games coming up against West Ham midweek and a game against Leeds at home as well. So we've got plenty of options over this game, the West Ham game and the Leeds game to be rotating the team without having to do heavy rotation and making five or six changes per game. City could just keep it nice and sensible two or three changes per game, keep the squad nice and fresh, ready for that Real Madrid first leg match in a couple of weeks' time. So I reckon City could be doing a bit of rotation. I think if it is, I think Laporte might start in this game, potentially ahead of Manuel Kanji. And with Kevin De Bruyne saying he was feeling a bit of a strain, a bit of a nick on his leg, uh, he may be rested in this game. And uh, if that is the case, I'd be tempted to move Bernardo Silva into the middle uh, and start one of Mares or Foden on the right wing. So I'm going to pop up my team prediction now for you guys. I reckon Edison starts in this game. I think we'll stick with Walker. So I'm going for Walker, Diaz, Stones and Laporte. Oh kind of like a back four, can revert into a back three with Walker give, uh, being given maybe a little bit more freedom on that right-hand side in particular if Bernardo Silva does drop uh, into midfield, he could sit alongside uh, Rodri, we have seen that before uh, I've got Rodri, Gundogan, Bernardo Silva as my midfielders, and as I said a little bit more freedom there potentially for Kyle Walker on the right wing um, Mares or Foden, I think if it was me, Mares scored a hat-trick in the game against Sheffield United, I thought it was unlucky not to start against Arsenal so for his reward for that I would start Mares over Foden on that right wing but I could see Foden starting this game uh, as well and I've gone with Jack Grealish and Erling Haaland starting as well for Manchester City it means options from the bench if they go with the team that I've selected and the likes of Alvarez Phillips De Bruyne Akanji Foden Lewis all good options there for Manchester City from the bench. And as we're playing every three to four days from now until the uh, end of the season, it's a good opportunity here to rotate just two or three players at a time. And then it doesn't involve at uh, any point in any part of the season us uh, making five or six changes. And also utilising the bench could be very useful for City. Uh, so rather than players doing 90 minutes, they can do 75 minutes. If we're freeing up in 75 minutes, then start rotating the team a little bit is uh, the situation that City want to be in. Now, in terms of my score prediction for this game, I reckon City are going to win this game. I'm going for a 2-0 victory for City. I reckon Jack Grealish bags along with Erling Haaland uh, in the second half. So Grealish in the first half and a goal for Haaland in the second half. Betting tips, I think City are going to keep a clean sheet. Haaland any time of course I'm going for City to win two plus corners for both teams and if I needed to pick a player to be carded if he starts I'm going for Emeric Laporte. Now, moving on to today's video sponsor, Betmate. £400 pot, 120 quid for the winner. 2 p.m. special on Sunday. My team, I've gone with Nick Pope in goal for the Newcastle Southampton game. Dalla of United taking on Aston Villa at Old Trafford and Trippier from the Newcastle Southampton game. As my defenders, I've got Ward Prowse from Southampton in their away match at Newcastle. And Kevin De Bruyne, if he does start in this game, he's too good of a player for me not to select him. If he doesn't start in this game, I will rotate accordingly and put one of the other City midfielders in there instead. I've gone with Marcus Rashford up top with Erling Haaland. On the bench, I've got Messlier of uh, Leeds who are away against Bournemouth. A couple of Bournemouth players as well. I've got Smith, the defender, and Billing as the midfielder. And I've got Bobby Reid as well uh, as Fulham striker on the bench for this part. Remember, the app is free to download. You can use my link in the description to download uh, the free Betmates app. Normal rules do apply. It is only available to those in the UK only. And you do need to be 18 or over 
over to use the app. It's a £5 entry fee to enter this pot. You can use uh, and get free bets by using my code JSGC10 on sign up. You can use them free bets to join this pot for free. They are running other games like Ackers and both teams to score. So do go and check out Betmate. That would be much appreciated. Uh, anyone that is entering the pot, I'm wishing you the very best of luck. I'm in the pot. Are you? Go and check it out. Links and details there in the description. Finally, if you are going to gamble, please remember to gamble responsibly. And when the fun stops, stop. Halland is now the 38-game top goal scorer in a Premier League season. He's just one goal away from levelling with Andy Cole and Alan Shearer. I think a brace will see him overtake them as the all-time leading Premier League top goal scorer. I've previously said I can see Halland bagging 40 goals and I wouldn't rule that out. May we see Halland score again at the weekend? May he take out his bobble and have just his long, gracious, blonde locks on show instead? Did the job in scoring past Arsenal in the 95th minute. Will we see it again? We'll have to wait and see. Do remember, I'm going to be doing a live watch along. The link to that's going to be out later on this evening. If you want to go and set your reminders for that, I'll be live on Sunday at 1.30pm BST. So I will see you then. So there we go. That has been the video. Thank you for watching. Much appreciated. Leave a thumbs up. 100 likes is the aim. Do let me know your thoughts in the comments below, including your score and team prediction for this game. Subscribe if you're new around here. Press that red button. Press the bell and put your push notifications on. It is free to subscribe. Also, don't forget as well, social media links. They're in the description below and sliding across at the bottom of the screen. If you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. Email also in the description too. If you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries, TikTok link also in the description if you want to go and follow me on there. And finally, do go and check out today's video sponsor, Betmate. Links and details, they're in the description. Finally, I just want to wish everybody a very happy bank holiday weekend. Relax and enjoy. See you Sunday. I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now. <laughs>